Hey guys, Jack Spinning, interior and architecture photographer based here in Manchester in the UK. So for the last seven days, I've been running Gary V's $1.80 challenge over on my Instagram account. So obviously it's a photography account, which is quite a competitive market. And I'll be the first to admit that I am absolutely terrible at keeping my Instagram up to date. So I've run the challenge for the last seven days. Let's see how we got on. So what is the $1.80 challenge? Well, what you do is you go into Instagram, you go into your search bar and you put in your top nine trending hashtags. So for me, it was things like architecture photographer, architectural photography, interior photographer, interior photography, things like that. Then you find the top nine on the discovery grid. You go in there, you like them and you put a comment on each one. You give your two cents. Don't just stick a thumbs up, put something meaningful in there that people can interact with and hopefully they will then come onto your account. By doing that, hopefully at the end of the day, you've left your two cents on 90 posts. So then you get your $1.80 by the end of the day. So let's get into my results. First off, what you need is an Instagram business page. Really easy to set up. You just need your Facebook page. Uh, Google had set it up. It takes about two minutes and you'll be in there straight away. This then gives you access to lots more analytical data, which is really beneficial for seeing where you're doing the right things and where conversely you're cocking up a little bit and people aren't liking it. In there, there is lots and lots of little tabs. Let's take a look at a couple of them now. So first up, we've got the discovery tab. And this tells you how many people have discovered your account in the last seven days. For me, this is the most important one because this is the amount of eyeballs you are getting on your profile. So you can see over seven days, I had 910 people discover my profile. Not bad. So in the second tab, we've got interactions. This is where people go in after they've discovered your account and make some kind of meaningful action on there. They interact with your content. Over the last seven days, I've had 557 interactions with my account. And last up, we have the audience tab. And this is where most people will concentrate their time on because this is the amount of people who have followed or unfollowed you in the last seven days. So as you can see from this, I gained 53 followers in the last week, which doesn't seem like a huge amount. But when you look at the fact that I did only have about 1,200 followers at the beginning of it, it is quite a big jump. It's 4% increase actually from the week before, which sounds really good on paper. But then when you scroll and check the amount of time that I was spending on Instagram, two hours and five minutes a day, for me, that's not good return on investment. The amount of time it took to go find the hashtags, go in every day, put a meaningful comment on each one of those posts, two hours a day for 53 followers, which probably aren't gonna be buying much of my work, uh, I would say it wasn't worth it for me. Uh, obviously, if you do this over time, you're probably gonna get more of a community, it's gonna build up, um, but two hours a day, it's a lot, a lot of time. For me, um, I found myself also struggling to find in my hashtags, I was struggling to find new content. A lot of time, the top nine weren't changing, so I was having to spend time looking down. But one of the good things, one of the best things I found about this is I did make a nice little community out of that because I was finding sort of people who had less followers further down. Um, the people who I was connecting with who were having um, comments in their DMs and that kind of thing were all connecting and saying, oh, I love your work because they were all around the 1,000 follower mark. So we're all bumping each other up ever so slightly, which was one of the great things about it. We would just get a bit more community, but two hours a week, will I be doing this going forward? No, I will not. So I hope you've enjoyed my Gary V 180 challenge over the last seven days. If you have enjoyed it, please do pop me a comment, pop me a like below uh, and let me know any more content you would like to see from me.